This is the Sabbath School lesson for the second quarter, 2021. Lesson 5 for April 24 to 30, Children of the Promise, and read by Dr. Percy Harold. Sunday, April 25, Thy Shield. Our text for today is Genesis chapter 15 and verse 1. After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Question, read Genesis 15 verses 1 through to 3. Think of the context in which this message was given. Why would the first thing the Lord says to Abram be, Fear not? What would Abram have to fear? God's covenant with Abraham. Genesis 15, beginning at verse 1. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. But Abram said, Lord God, what will you give me, seeing I go childless, and the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus? Then Abram said, Look, You have given me no offspring. Indeed, one born in my house is my heir. What's particularly interesting here is that the Lord says to Abram, I am thy shield. The use of the personal pronouns shows the personal nature of the relationship. God will relate to him one on one, the way he will to all of us. The designation of God as a shield appears here for the first time in the Bible and is the only time God uses it to reveal himself, even if other biblical passages use the term to speak about God. As we read in Deuteronomy 33.29, Happy are you, O Israel! Who is like you, a people saved by the Lord, the shield of your help and the sword of your majesty? Your enemies shall submit to you and you shall tread down their high places. And Psalm 18 verse 30, As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust in him. And Psalm 84 11, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. And Psalm 144 verse 2, My loving kindness and my fortress my high tower and my deliverer, my shield, and the one in whom I take refuge, who subdues my people under me. When God calls himself someone's shield, what does he mean? Did it mean something to Abram that it might not mean to us now? Can we claim that promise for ourselves? Does it mean no physical harm will come? In what ways is God a shield? How do you understand that image? In the book Sons and Daughters of God, page 77, Ellen White writes, Christ has not a casual interest in us, but an interest stronger than a mother for her child. Our Saviour has purchased us by human suffering and sorrow, by insult, reproach, abuse, mockery, rejection and death. He is watching over you, trembling child of God. He will make you secure under his protection. Our weakness in human nature will not bar our access to the Heavenly Father, for he, Christ, died to make intercession for us. End of quote. And so to finish the day. From all outward appearances, Rolando had been a faithful follower of the Lord. Then suddenly he died unexpectedly. What happened to God as his shield? Or must we understand the idea of God as our shield in a different manner? Explain. What does God always promise to shield us from? Well, our answer could be in 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 13. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation, will also make the way of escape, that you may be able to bear it. 
This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. It's supported by the Sabbath School Department and Hope Channel Australia and is rebroadcast by Christian Record Services and through podcasts at It Is Written in the United States, Hope Channel Germany and through Apple iTunes and SoundCloud. Remember, God is always faithful.